السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Thank you for joining me on my channel Escaping Western Society Once again my name is Robley And I want to pick up where we left off last time On Uncommon Addictions This is part 2 Once again this is These are all my personal Thoughts and opinions I don't mean to disrespect anyone but I also want to give you a wake-up call so addiction uncommon addiction part 2 starts with addiction to frivolous education do you know how many colleges and universities there are do you know how many new colleges and universities pop up every year language schools Education has become a way of profit and not just in the country but outside the country too. There's people in India that are paying 20, 30 grand just to come here and being promised bullshit education. Excuse my language. Professors, when I was in college, almost every other professor would have a different new edition book release every three years. The new edition in the textbook only had that much of new stuff on it and the rest was just reorganized a little bit makeup on it and just republished no new information addiction to benefits primarily social benefits if these, if these social welfare programs worked, we would not be in this situation. So they keep coming up with these welfare, but it's not welfare, it's, it's just in between time. By that I mean temporary solutions to permanent problems. Addiction to promoting equality while burying the history. Let me say that again. Addiction to promoting equality whilst burying history. Every year Canada comes up with a new way to reconciliate with the indigenous people. But they find new, new ways to hide the past. They push forward the LGBTQ movement, but they leave behind everyone else. And the last one, and this is one that I personally was addicted to for a very long time, and I had to deprogram myself out of it which took me quite a couple of years so all these things that I'm talking about and if you're dealing with it right now just know that there's there's a way out and it will be long and it will be hard hard and arduous but there is a way out the last one is addiction to calling Canada the best in the world yes Canada has a lot of great things yes it has a lot of opportunities a lot of stuff that I've accomplished, I'm personally thankful for. But how we as a society move forward, it's not working. And it's getting worse and worse. And a lot of, most of the population is just going along with it. I don't call that ignorance, I call it arrogance. If you feel the same way I feel or share my thoughts, please like and subscribe, put on the bell notice and share so that we can get a lot of people escaping Western society. Thank you very much.